There he is. Scooby Doo! <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Anyhow, we're doing a bit of investigation, so. It's a bit rough this film, but the MF meter. It's very quiet here, isn't it? Is there anybody there? Yeah. Hello? Hello? Mm, nobody there. Oh, yeah. I hear something. Yeah, you might watch it, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Becky here, the, just leaving the Goblin Tower, over there, Let's see, just a quick visit really, we're going to go check the um, Priory out, see if we can get anything there, so, I'll just show you some of the castle up there, look at the walls. Just walking to the up to the fryer, you know. Here it is, and there's Scooby, Scooby Doo over there. It's a ghost. <laughs> Just starting to rain as well. Typical. Nice one. Just hide under the roof. It's an invisible roof. Just going to set up this ghost, uh, very expensive ghost camera now. That's to impressive. Start recording uh, and get piss wet through actually. I'm mm. going to try and do a, a uh, proper investigation. I've just asked if there's anybody here. And? Oh, keys. No one said anything. And? Hello, welcome to Most Haunted. And today we're at the Priory. In Denby. Let's see him for cam set up there. Scooby's cam over here. There we go. And got that one there. I'll show you around. Uh, Denby Friary. From the 13th century, I believe. And there you go. 1289. So, got a well here. Well, it's quite deep out well. So you can see down there. And I've got the the crystal that Gollum took everywhere with him. And so I've decided to follow the tradition with the crystal and bring it to the Friary in Denby. It is peddling with rain. And Scooby's over there doing a bit of filming. Hopefully we should capture something. And quite a building this. And as you can see the stained glass window is brick effect. They've gone for the red brick effect. Um, Charles Llewellyn Bowen did this, he decorated it, I believe. And he gave it the brick effect look, so you can't smash them windows. Charming. And I can imagine the the monks or whatever they were in here sitting around. 
and this place is supposed to be haunted. That's why we're here. So, let's see if we can get anything. Here's the EMF meter. And as you can see, it's going madly off there. Flashing, flashing continuously. Not. And someone with a car come to take us away. So, let's have a little wonder here. Hello, we're just wondering if anybody is there, would like to talk to us. Anybody that has passed away, or a monk or something, a priest, from some time ago. We believe this building had a fire, and it was destroyed by fire, and it has never been repaired since. We can see the fire remains, because it's all burnt. Brick is burned, so this was brought the whole place down. Really, this big fire. Anybody there was like a tour to us? Any monks? Anybody who lived here, stayed here? Anybody who worked here? Is anybody who worshipped here? Would like to talk to us? Anyone called James? How about you shouting out, Scoob? It's not working out for me. What? You shout out. It's not working for me, no. It worked for you, didn't it? Let's check the meter. Crystal. Is there anybody you'd like to speak to us in this monastery or church? We mean you no harm. We have the greatest respect for you. Uh, if you'd like to contact us in any way, push me or my friend next to me or make the lights flash on the grey box in front of my in front of me, in my left hand, we mean you no harm. The bloody hell was that? I see someone walk past them? Yeah. Over there. Sure I did. Not very quickly. Do you something now? Yeah, I heard something fall again. That's what it sounded like when that did it over there. Weird. Didn't see it though, did we? No. Sounded like over here somewhere, didn't it? Can't see anybody there. Is that the hell's that over there? Funny, mate. Little window. Why is there only one little window? Strange. There's a door. Is there anybody here who wishes to make contact with us? Show us a sign. Can you throw something, perhaps? Can you throw a stone? Was it you that threw a stone earlier? Are you a monk? Could you light up the box? 
Use your energy. Light up this box here. Did someone push you then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What are you with them on for? We're looking for Graham's house. Yeah, it is. It's oh, but not from this bit. <laughs> yeah. Is it this one? It's right now. It's Kieran's just over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's Kieran's house there. Kieran! <laughs> Baldy! <laughs> He's got a purple car and a purple front door. <laughs> it's all purple windows. Purple. <laughs> He's a purple people eater. <laughs> He's purple Aki from St. Helen. We're outside Graham's house, as you can all see, taking the piss. <sighs> He's just about to phone his best pal in Denby. Oh, the following voicemail. Uh, you must, you must be right. You must be having a wank. <laughs> you know when you've got this mobile phone, you're supposed to have it switched on. That's what mobile phones are for. They're not supposed to be switched off all the time, Evans. Anyhow, we sat outside your house now, looking at your purple front door, your purple windows, and your purple car. Very purple. And we've sat out here with eggnog. We're not going to knock on the door because you know we know you won't let us in and you're probably pissed anyhow. <laughs> Cheers, it's Scooby anyway, by the Scooby and Eggnog. Shout hello. Hello, bastard! <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going Peter Glynn's for a brew. Ta! <laughs> we're in the mental. Well, we're outside the mental. There's no one more mental than him. That's true. And here is the mental. Um, do you see them windows there? There's a ghost in them. Is it? Yeah. Oh, can you see it now? It's gone now. There's, there's a face in the window. Is it? A bald headed face. A bit like bald headed bastard, bald headed bloody grey bastard, bald headed thin. You mean Graham Evans bald headed bastard? Yeah. yeah. Only joking, Graham. Uh, it's supposed to be occupied, but I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look occupied. No sheep. No? No. no. Can't be asked. I'm better up to e ELO music. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I might film somewhere. I might call off. Uh, Mind you, I can't know because I said I'd be there for about half seven. So. How long was the journey? Oh, An hour, has it Yeah, been? well, it took me longer because uh, the traffic was murdered. There was a big crane in the road, being, you know, in a low loader. Yeah. So I was all stuck behind that. But I want to call that Chippy on the way back. It's down and I'm get some chips. Yeah, your chips, eh? No sausage. And then oh. I've got to get me uh, cider. And then me drugs. Yeah. Cannabis. And then I'll be set up for the night then. You lucky bastard. Prostitute. Well, I'm coming to yours tonight. Ordering <laughs> a prostitute, yeah. Fuck you now. You bring your own prostitute, now be mine. I don't want to, I don't want seconds. I don't want sloppy seconds, are you? I'll have to buy that, she should be knackered in That's the council office, is there? Denby Council. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Morrison's! Hey! That's where Graham gets his booze, isn't it? Uh, Gollum. Gollum's always it. Tesco, is it? Tesco, he goes to. Oh, it's <laughs> broken out there. Yes, so that's all. Should we go on rail with that bus? Alright, stay out on rail. Hello. Uh, we've been to the Priory, we've been to the Goblin, and we've been to the hospital. 
And the most success we've had was at Peter Glynn's house, funny enough, where we saw um, a chainsaw and a big lemon. But it was a very interesting. <laughs> Um, just oh. testing the zoom out Kathy here. Kathy knows we're in a film with a woman. She just texts me. <laughs> Psychic. Someone in that car. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What uh, were we talking about anyway? We've talked we're about... Talking about we've just been outside the hospital. We've been to Peter Glynn. That's right. Um, and he's a nice man. He made us a nice cup of tea. Yeah. But sadly he got taken away to the phone and... I shall pop in and see that nice man again, I think. And uh, I'm just going to ring Kathy so you can film that if you want. Yeah, Not sir. that it'll be exciting. Even though I've got one little bar left. She fell asleep. Hi, Kathy. Oh, she's not there yet. Hi, Scooby Doo. How are you? Scooby Doo, how are you? Do, do, Scooby Doo, do, do, on the loo, having a poo. Let's All right. Yeah, but just, I'm just, I'll be leaving in, um, in about five minutes. Um, I just sat in the car with Eggnog. Hi! She's just giving me a blow. Hi! Job. It's Sonia here! We've been Peter Glynn's house. Sonia's here! <laughs> you heard it. You what? Yeah. Ben. Yeah, we've just been Peter Glynn's for a cup of tea, but he had a phone call, an urgent phone call, so uh, we had the cup of tea and we, we just left him. Bend over, Scooby! <laughs> Bend over! Eggnog's filming a girl here. No, I'm not. I'm just filming you. You are. Yeah, all right. I'll be home in about an hour, just over an hour. All right, ta-ra. Ta-ra!